the Volkswagen Transporter windscreen cover. Over here in the UK, I have realized that when we are parting with our hard-earned money, we are pretty much asking ourselves the same three questions. Am I getting value for money? Is it made well? And is it any good? So you've probably heard of the screen cover with the colorful name. Well, guess what? There is a new kid in town. This is from Custom Camping. This video does seamlessly move on from my last video, which was testing out the pop top and how hot it got. While I was producing that video, I realized that the heat being generated through the windscreen played a massive part in that extra heat that I did not enjoy whatsoever. It is in fact a true story that that night I emailed Custom Camping and I said, listen, do you know who I am? And they said, yeah, we watch every single video that you make and we were just here waiting for you to contact us no they didn't say that but what they did say was please come on over visit us at the factory take a look around you bring your camera show you guys exactly the process it's made try and give the people an insight to whether or not we are getting value for money whether or not they are made well i was a little bit on the fence i was uh... i took the visit and man oh man was i shocked what an operation these guys have got. I didn't realize the video was gonna take this direction, but to answer, are we getting value for money? Is it made well? Take a look at the factory, take a look at the footage that I took on the day. I think the next minute and a half goes a long way in answering those first two questions. So the process starts with me sending my logo file over to the team at Custom Camping. They then break it down, they do all of their technical stuff where they blow it up and they improve the lines that are in between. I watch them do it, it's absolutely mind-blowing. The design is then created in full, with color, the logo, everything that you desire, and then it is sent back to you for you to give the all clear. Then they press the big send button like this, and that is sent off to print. Printer alone on this process absolutely blew me away. I just put ink in my printer. I would not want to foot the bill for the ink in this bad boy. The quality of the print is absolutely mind-blowing. I hope the camera does it justice. That is then taken over to this big table thingy, where in reverse, it's laid on top of the hurricane material. What a wicked name. So what that's being laid on now will end up being what is on the outside of the van. Then this other massive technical thingy, top half of the table somehow manages to slide itself over my logo and the hurricane material. Now they did tell me the exact process, what this is called. I remember the words gaseous exchange and there were a few other really scientific words, but I'm gonna use the word impregnates. Whatever that process is called, whatever that's doing, that is actually putting my logo in that hurricane material. It's not on it, this isn't a transfer, this isn't a vinyl, you can't peel it off, you can't pick it off. The outside of this screen wrap started life white and then was impregnated into my logo. They then roll that up and they take that off into a totally different building where the only way I can explain it is it's put on a CNC machine for material. And it was at this point that I realized that the video must take a different direction. You guys have to see how these things are put together. Listen, I'm not sure what I was expecting. I think I was expecting someone to be cutting them out with scissors maybe, and some kind of massive iron on transfer, but this is not what I expected, but this is not what I expected for 295 pounds. So back on topic, the front screen and the two side windows is cut out using this fancy bit of kit. And then the layers of insulation are cut. So that is the silverback stuff with the insulation on the inside, basically the cavity, the wadding for you and I, that is cut exactly the same. That's then rolled up. And then we head over to the people in sewing. So over at sewing, they take those layers of insulation and they bind them together with this little bit of machine here. Here. and they take the internal stuff and they take it over to the sewing machine where the hurricane material is then sewn onto the silver stuff now at this stage we have our hurricane material we have our insulation we have the silver back foil stuff that is then taken back over to the binding machine, I believe it's called a binding machine, and that is all then bound together. So at this stage, we now have three sections, two windows, 
one windscreen, then take them back over to sew where they make it one complete unit. They sew on the windows to the doors and sew on this bit of Velcro. Then comes the privacy mesh. I've not even mentioned the privacy mesh yet. That is a secret feature that I'm about to show you guys. It's absolutely wicked. That is then sewn into place. It's double checked, it's triple checked, it's rolled up, it's taken over to package it, it's lovingly packaged, they put a sticker on it and then they put it in the post. So now you've seen the full production process, do you feel like you'd be getting value for money if I told you that one of these windscreen covers were 160 pounds? A block color, the starting price with just a block color, is 160 pounds. Then you move on to the printed designs. So the printed designs would be a selection of pre-selected designs on the website, googly eyes, Volkswagen badges, sunsets, random designs. You can combine that, I believe, with any color you like. So you might want a certain set of eyes with a certain colored background. They are 220 pounds. You then add the privacy flap down that I'm yet to show you, but I promise I will. That is an additional 10 pounds and insulation is five pounds. Put it this way, the all singing, all dancing, your own logo, picture of your dog, whatever you want, with everything, fold down, insulated, the bee's knees, £295. That is the price right now, June 2023, because the world changes every minute and who knows, but use the code UAO10, get yourself 10% off. That code is for a limited time, but what I will say, if this is a product that you feel like you wanna get your hands on, you wanna be able to touch it, feel it, know what you're buying, if that's the case, these guys will be at Camp Jam 2023. If you're going, be sure to check them out. Process you have seen, the skills in place that you have seen, the machinery that you have seen, they serve a bigger purpose day to day. Custom Camping is a fairly new company. I am theorizing now, but I can only assume that there are a few passionate campers over at Custom Camping. They have seen a product and have thought to themselves, we can do this better and cheaper. Now I have mentioned the price and that may change as the world changes every single day, so it seems. How do these guys produce something that we're assuming is better and it's cheaper? How is that happening? You usually get one or the other. These guys were set up for this without even knowing that they were set up. This is just a branch on a very, very big tree. I don't want to mention all of the products that they've got necessarily, because some of it may even seem like it's private or confidential. But what I can say, because it was on a little poster in reception, is they made every single flag for the Commonwealth Games. Installation could not be any simpler than it is. So we take our wrap out of the bag, determine left and right, and that is quite simple, as long as you know left and right that is. So we are going to start by looping one of the corners over the window of the door. That then gets shut. And we simply begin closing the title to wrap our van with our cover. As simple as that. When you get to the opposing side, you will not have the option to fully open your door because it works on the snug fit of two closed doors. So bring the door in, but don't close it. Make sure it keeps its shape. Watch your fingers. Button up the Velcros. Good little tip, pull that over the screen and that will stop the screen riding up, not that I think it ever would. And hey presto, you now have a windscreen cover. I mean, literally, there's nothing to see. We are totally blacked out. Obviously I've got windows either side. That's why I'm not in total darkness. <laughs> absolutely cracking until we pull down the privacy section which then even though we can see out and even the camera can see out as clear as day nobody can see in and i mean that so of a morning you're having a brew in bed you can watch the world go by you can take away that claustrophobic feeling but nobody can see you in your pants having a morning coffee. So obviously do not try this at home. I am moving the van round for photography purposes, 
but it just goes to show that I can actually, in fact, see out as clear as day, regardless of what can be seen from the outside in. Today is going to be the hottest day of the year. I couldn't have timed this any better. It's going to be 29 degrees. I've put the van with the windscreen or the windscreen cover facing exactly where the sun is going to be for hours and hours. I'm going to leave the van, windows and doors, totally shut. Then I'll check back in and see what kind of temperature it gets to with the windscreen cover in place. It's going to be warm. I don't deny that. It's probably going to be hotter inside the van than it is outside. The point of this experiment is to work out what temperature it would be without the windscreen cover. So at that point, I'm going to remove the cover. I'm going to leave it for, say, one hour, check back in and see what difference it truly makes. This is four hours in on the hottest day of the year. It is currently 27 degrees. Let's take a look on the inside and see what kind of temperature we've got. Our digital stat is saying that it's 29 degrees. That's about two degrees hotter than the actual temperature. But what I will say is as soon as I get out of that direct sunlight, and I know I'm wearing a black T-shirt, it feels cooler. It doesn't necessarily feel cold in here. I'm not going to say it feels cold, but it was immediate respite out of the sunshine getting in. Now, please remember that the van has been closed. All the windows and doors have been shut. I've just opened it now while I'm sat here, but I'm going to take the screen off, let it cook for an hour, and let's see what kind of temperature this little thing says. Now I'm just going to break the windscreen cover down to show you guys, because that is also the next step, we're gonna let the van cook without our windscreen cover. Basically, fold the windows into itself. Roll it up. And you stick it back in the bag. And unlike every single tent that is sold, it fits into the bag without having to be some kind of origami master. Now then, the compression strap. You guys haven't seen this yet. It's not a mind-blowing invention by any stretch of the imagination, but it is gonna massively help when it comes to storage. That's what it looks like when it's in its bag. All we're gonna do now is alligator wrestle it. That is more Volkswagen Transporter friendly. So now we walk away for an hour. So I think that's all it's gonna take. Walk away for an hour, let the van cook. Now these guys do make these screens for pretty much any van. But why don't us lads with the Mercedes Sprinters, why do we put our blinds on the inside? Is it just the height that makes us want to put our screens on the inside? Because this is a good product, it's all in one. The system I use in the Sprinter is a bit finicky. You're sucking them to the inside of the window. I've never seen anyone use an external wrap on a Mercedes Sprinter, Volkswagen Crafter, MAN, TGE, that kind of thing. Don't know. This is the internal blind that I use on my Mercedes Sprinter. And as you can see, I've not had it long whatsoever and it's already beginning to fall to pieces. Since announcing that I was going full time with this whole social media van work things, I have been overwhelmed with the support. Thank you very much. And here is a list of everyone that I can think of. If your name isn't on this list and you feel like it should be, I do apologize. Fight your case in the comments. Why should your name be up there? How have I managed to miss you? But here we are. Thank you, every single one of you. So it's been one hour. Let's check it. No, absolutely not. It's 40 degrees and it's stifling. I've been in here for, I'm not, I'm not a one take wonder. Don't get me wrong. I've been in here for 15 seconds now. It's my second take. It is horrible. Absolutely horrible. This is saying it's 40 degrees. It feels like it's 60 degrees. I've got to get out of here. So the windscreen wrap clearly does its job. Took the windscreen wrap off and within one hour, it increased the temperature inside the van by 10 degrees. It's absolutely horrible, but it felt even hotter than that. That magnifying glass effect that I talked about in the last video, honestly, that is it in a nutshell. It is absolutely horrible in there. 
it's like a greenhouse. True insulation keeps things the way they are, or it tries its hardest to. So what I mean by that is if this was winter and I was trying to heat the inside of the vehicle, it would try its hardest to retain that heat. If I made that vehicle cooler by opening windows, it would try and retain that cool environment. That's how it works. So if right now, if I left the windows and doors shut and put the screen wrap on, it would try and contain 40 degrees as much as possible. That's how insulation works. So you would need to crack a window, crack a door. That's how you would introduce a cooler temperature. And therefore that is how you would keep it cool. So it is value for money. It is made well, and it does work.